guys, it's Allison from the Young Entrepreneur video series, and we're here to interview Jen Cohen today. She is the president and co-founder of Something Creative, which is a marketing boutique that focuses on marketing strategies and social media. So here we go. Hello. So Jen, let's talk about how you started your business. Um, where did this idea kind of come about, and how did you really start? Sure. Well, I've always been driven and I've always set goals for myself. Mm -hmm. I'm a goal setter and I'm a goal achiever. So, you know, when I was younger, I said I wanted to go to college. I wanted to go to grad school. I wanted to study abroad and I wanted to start my own business. So my thought was, you know, what am I good at? What can I do? And how can I start my own business? When I was in grad school, I was going to school for PR and I said I wanted to start a PR agency. Um, while I was in grad school, I worked in marketing and I really found that my niche was in marketing and I worked in the corporate world for quite a bit and just decided that that wasn't really the way I wanted to go and so I had the ability to go out on my own and start my own business. That's very cool. Now what piece of advice would you give college students? As you said, you did kind of notice that you wanted to start when you were in grad school or college, but how did you kind of get everything started? What, what three pieces of, a, of advice would you give? I would say, you know, work hard, um, come up with goals and work figure out ways to achieve those goals mm -hmm. um, and work hard to get there and always keep in mind that whatever you want to do you can achieve if you have a plan so plan the work work the plan and you can get to where you need to be now what skills do you think are needed to be a young entrepreneur I know you said work hard and get a plan but what other skills do you think that people need I definitely think motivation um, and you need to have motivation that comes from within. Mm -hmm. So it's really important the outside factors that you have in your life and that you have a good support system, mm -hmm. but you can't get anywhere without being motivated from inside. Right, okay, very cool. Now, um, have you had a lot of failures? I know I, lot of, I talk to a lot of young entrepreneurs and they're like, you know, a few failures here and there, but did you have a lot of failures when you were starting your business or is it more now um, with finding clients or, or kind of how do you, what failures have you had and then kind of how do you deal with them? Sure. Well, I guess you have to come to an understanding that you're always going to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. No matter what, there's going to be a mistake that comes along and there's going to be things that you can't deal with, things that you can deal with, and things that you can't prevent. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of, you know, any of those mistakes that come by, you take them, you understand them, you figure out how to change it for the next time, and you just try not to make those mistakes again. Mm -hmm. But failures are inevitable and it's something that you're going to come across that's just going to make you a better person. Yeah. Now, how many hours a day do you work? Um, <laughs> I think that I'm always working, mm -hmm. whether I be whether it's like watching TV and I see a really interesting commercial or a great, you know, marketing campaign, then it's something that sticks in my head and I might go to my computer or, you know, go on my iPhone and type an email to a client and say, I really think that this is something that could work for you. Mm -hmm. So no matter what, you know, reading magazines, um, surfing the internet, during any of those times, I think that I'm definitely still working in a sense and thinking about my clients. Now, how does that affect your family life? How is that with your with your family and um, you know with friends? Are you still able to do a lot of stuff that you did in the past before you had your business? Or I think there are certain things that you have to reprioritize. Mm -hmm. um, family's always number one. You know, work is important and my business is part of my life but it's not my life right so it's a matter of finding that work-life balance and it is very difficult and you kind of have to set aside certain times that you say my business has to come first right now but if something ever happened with my family they're always number one and mm -hmm. I always make that very clear to my clients that my clients are important family should be important and they should it should be important to them so yeah. you know it's just you you have to weigh your options sometimes but you can definitely find that balance and once you find it it, it's a real nice place to be. Mm -hmm. Now, let's walk through like a typical day in your office. Now, I know you talk about clients. Do you um, go out and get the clients or do they, do they come to you? And then after you get them, kind of what's your next step from there? What's, what's your business plan kind of or day to day? Well, most of my clients have been through referrals and word of mouth. Mm -hmm. um, it's been really good to, to do some networking and to get to know people. Um, within the industry mm -hmm. who kind of look at me as an expert within social media. So it's been really great to have good people that are referring me to others. Mm -hmm. um, and basically what we do is we set up a consultation. So I talk to the potential client and say, what do you need? How can we help you? And how can we add value? And if it comes down to the fact that we're not the best selection for them, then I'm very honest and say, we might not be your best choice. Mm -hmm. um, if we are the best choice, then you know we set a proposal and we walk through the proposal and decide what we're going to do in priorities and what's going to work within their budget. Okay. And what's your favorite aspect of being 
a business owner? What do you like about it? The most? Um, I like the flexibility. Mm -hmm. um, I know that you know clients are always important, and if an emergency comes up, then I have to respond. But it's really great to be able to set my own schedule, set mm -hmm. my own priorities, and have the ability to be creative and do something different every day. That is very cool. And kind of going along with that, is that the most satisfying thing as well as? Or is it more of being your own boss or what, what do you find most satisfying? I think the most satisfying thing is watching the marketing plans and the marketing strategies that we have suggested and that we've put into place actually come to fruition. Mm -hmm. And it's really great to see you know, the results that we thought were going to happen actually start to happen and the client gets excited and they come back to us and they, and they think like, oh wow, it really worked. And I think that that's the most satisfying part. Okay. Now, in one word, characterize your life as a young entrepreneur. Um, I would say challenging. Mm -hmm. Every day is a challenge. There's, you know, different things that I keep learning, things that I am learning that I don't know and things that I need to know. Mm -hmm. um, I have some really great mentors in my life and I'm very thankful for them and they've been helping me get through these challenges. So Jen, how do you manage your finances between business finances and personal? Well, I try to keep them separate. Um, right now, I'm looking into credit unions as an option for a car loan. Mm -hmm. I'm looking to purchase a new car um, for the reason that I'm looking for a more environmentally conscious car that gets a little bit of better gas mileage, mm -hmm. being that I've been traveling a lot. Um, so I'm definitely looking into the credit unions for their repayment plans, and I think it's going to be a really good option for me. Great. Cool. Well, good luck with that. Thank you. And um, thanks so much for coming. Uh, if you guys want more information, you can always check Jen out at somethingcreativemarketing.com. And you can also find us on Twitter. Um, our handle is at SC Social Media. And our Facebook page is facebook.com slash somethingcreativellc. So thanks again, guys. We'll see you for the next Young Entrepreneur interview.